So when you woke up after the surgery yeah. and your leg was gone, what was that like? It was really strange. You know, going into the operation, I was sort of in my head, am I going to feel my leg? Am I going to be in pain? But I remember the first time looking at the reflection of the sheet in the bed. Wow. And seeing it on the TV screen and, and telling Dad to turn the TV around. I wasn't ready to look at it that day. Uh, but to be honest, and it, it's still a blur um, the last couple, the couple of days after the operation. But I knew that that day was kind of, you know, I'd made the decision and that's what I had to deal with. And I saw how hard it was for my mum and dad, I think, that yeah. day. And asking him to turn the TV around and realise that, you know, it wasn't just me going through this. It was them and if not harder for them. So, yeah, I mean, it was, it was strange, but it was a day that I realised that it wasn't going to grow back. and it was, it was done. Yeah. So what was the recovery process like? Um, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be, to be completely honest. I was in hospital for six days only. And mm. I think being 15 in, in the Royal Children's Hospital, they try and get you out back into normal life as soon as they can. Yeah. Because I was around young kids and I was in, in near the oncology ward, which was such an eye-opener, you know. Mm. Seeing mums that have been there for months, if not years, and seeing kids that may not get to go home. Uh, for me, it was an eye-opener and I was very lucky that I was the one going home. But I went home and I got crutches and got a really nice wheelchair that mum let me pick out, which I absolutely hated <laughs> within a day. And, uh, you know, got back into life. It was near Christmas, I lost my leg in November, so it's been nine years now. Wow. And uh, my boyfriend started pushing me around in my wheelchair and we had so many arguments because it just wasn't working. Yeah, so yeah. got rid of the wheelchair within a week and was just on my crutches and trying to do everything myself. And so then how long did it take you to get a prosthetic leg? Uh, it took a while. I thought it was going to happen quite quickly, but. I went back to school in, in the end of January on my crutches still. Wow. And in about the February, I started to get fitted for my first prosthetic leg, but I still wasn't allowed to take it home for at least a month. And in that February was actually when all the girls were doing their deb ball and starting mm. to practice for their deb. And that's when I realised I was going to set that goal for myself. Yeah, And, and right. do that and start to learn and walk and dance at the same time. And so did you do your deb ball? Yeah, I did actually. I, it was really strange because... I was so nervous that my dead partner wasn't even going to want to do it with me, but yeah. of course he was more than willing to. So I went to dead practice with my leg in my hand and, and watched wow. all the other girls dancing and, and trying to learn by looking. But uh, I was lucky that the physio and the instructor came home with uh, myself and, and my partner and taught me how to dance and walk at the same time. And so you literally learnt to dance and walk at the yeah. same time? So I just sort of mastering walking at, at, a tra at the physio and uh, he'd sort of slip in some dances as well here and there and then... Um, I wasn't able to do like the waltz and certain things, but I came out and did the proper curtsy, which I was really proud of myself. And, and Dad turned to me and said, you know, I've, I've seen you do this, I know you can do anything. And I was very no. self-conscious at that time about my yeah, legs still. Yeah. So, yeah, to come out and do that was a huge thing. Oh, my God, yeah. Because your body is, as a 15-year-old, going through so mm. many changes anyway. Yeah. How did you feel about your body? Oh, I, I hated it. I, uh, I wore school pants, my brother's school pants, year 11, year 12 on 40-degree days. Yeah, right. And I wish I could go back now because obviously I, I don't care. Yeah. But at the time, I, for some reason, just didn't like the fact that my leg was out there and, and people were looking at it.